Well, the Bulletin Man sits down with you. Sorry, I've been kind of tardy on my Bulletin Man video broadcast. Actually, this is the uh, first real Bulletin Man video broadcast I've been able to bring to you all month of March because, uh, to be quite honest with you, we've been kind of consumed with trying to save the hacienda, save the ranch from the banksters and uh, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. We've got to actually get this thing filed tomorrow, but um, by the grace of God, we were being able to draft a uh, quiet title action, and I think it will be very effective, and um, once I get that filed, I'll get it posted on the website, and uh, perhaps if you're in the same situation as 60 million of us are, uh, having your house, uh, actually the trustee being this entity called the MERS, which is the Mortgage Electronic Registry System. Um, if your house is titled uh, the Deed of Trust, or, or if they are uh, acting as the, uh, the Deed of Trust, is the, they are the beneficiary or nominee or whatever it is, um, go to the courthouse and see if your house has got anything with uh, MERS to do with it. And then uh, give me a call and I can perhaps uh, guide you down the, the road there. I met a really f fantastic woman um, who's been helping me, uh, helping me go with this, and um, it just got, you know, it's a God thing, it really is. Um, be praying, folks. Uh, these are indeed very perilous times that we live in. On Friday, March 11th, a 33-foot tsunami washed over Japan and uh, upwards of 10,000 people were killed in a 9.0 earthquake. And um, if you noticed on my Bulletin Man video uh, broadcast from the Praise Fellowship on Sunday, I read from Luke 21 11, and it talks about earthquakes in diverse places. Hopefully you can see me a little bit better. I know I'm in the shadows. I'm not down in the bunker. It's still a little chilly down in the bunker. Um, be also in prayer for uh, Ted, the U.S. Marshal. The other fellow who, who passed away. Um, I got to tell you, folks in law enforcement, and that's really the scope of this last bulletin, uh, which I just posted on the website. I should have it on the streets of Jefferson County early next week. It is dated March 20th. But I make an appeal to my uh, folks, uh, my friends in blue and brown, that uh, these are very perilous and dangerous times that we live in. And being a police officer or an officer of the court is going to become very, very dangerous. And, you know, the reason why is I spoke with a person today at length. Of course, I get three or four emails a week uh, telling me horror stories of what's happened in Hillsboro and other courthouses across the land. And I got appeal to my friends at the, uh, in the legal profession. And um, who are law enforcement officers, that it's going to catch up with you sooner or later. Uh, these U.S. Marshals were shot, and uh, one of them unfortunately passed on. And the other one, Ted, uh, they both came to see me in April. I told them of the corruption of what was going on down here, and basically uh, they are in threat assessment mode. Not really too much concerned about the corruption. They're just concerned about protecting the corruptors. So be praying for them. Um, be praying for the bulls, man. Be praying for the people in Japan. Be praying for the folks here in America. Uh, this radioactive cloud. Uh, there, are, there are reactors melting down in Japan. They're not telling you the whole story there either. Uh, I suggest that you get some potassium iodine. Uh, if you take this iodine, it gets in your thyroid and help ward off the radiation. Uh, Nan over at the uh, Natural Home and Health is getting a shipment in, should have it tomorrow. We bought some off the internet. Um, but prepare yourself. Um, the best thing you could do is get saved and get right with the Lord. We're at the end of the end days. We really are. These are the last of the end times. And uh, you know, my heart aches. It really does because of uh, all the corruption that goes on. Um, and people's lives are at stake. People's souls are at stake. Uh, 
especially the teenagers. I try to talk to my son about uh, how good Jesus has been to us. And of course, he doesn't have everything he wants. He's not going to listen to me. Um, and I just pray that someone else is able to reach him. Uh, my younger children are much better off because they have a God-fearing mother. But my older ones, um, their mothers weren't very God-fearing. I'm just telling you folks, it's uh, it's really prayer time. You need to cover yourself in the blood of Jesus and get, get right with the Lord. Get serious about this whole Jesus thing because it isn't going to be long. Jesus is going to split the eastern sky. Uh, I have to travel up north. I'm going to go to court Thursday morning for letting my uh, ex-wife's dog out. They gave me a ticket for that. So I'm just here to tell you, uh, and I'm not happy about it, believe me, uh, but I'm telling you folks, the extortion uh, is going to stop one way or another. Uh, gas, $3.50 a gallon now. Doesn't look like that's going to go down. I thought it would with what's happening over in Japan, but um, just be in prayer, seriously. Get right with the Lord. I love you, and I uh, appreciate you stopping into the Bulletin Man video broadcast. I'm not going to keep you very long this time, but uh, God loves you too. And as always, I ask you to tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man, if you would. And my folks, my friends in Hillsboro, you better watch your P's and Q's and get right with the Lord, because you're upsetting a lot of people. I hear about it all day long. And, uh, I don't know, it's just not good. It really isn't. You've been warned. Have a great day.